Hi guys, this is Sasha here to show you the newest Orchestra Tools product, the Berlin Strings Effects Library. Hendrik is pretty busy at the moment, so I was asked to walk you through its content this time. As with any other Orchestra Tools package, this one runs completely independent, so you don't need the Berlin Strings main collection or any of the other expansion packs to make full advantage of all the articulations and content that comes with this library. Although I can only recommend to use as many of the Orchestra Tools libraries as possible. They are all fantastic and for me personally, they are the only Orchestra sample libraries that really make me happy every time I work with them. Okay, let's get started. The Burn Strings Effects Library was recorded with the exact same 86554 setup as the main library, so you get all the individual sections with quite a bunch of articulations as you can see here in the single instruments folder. Of course we also have set up a bunch of multi-patches which make full advantage of the new capsule technology. The library basically consists of two main types of articulations. You have two different kinds of clusters and glissandos, runs and rips kind of stuff. So firstly we have the clusters. There are two types of clusters in the library. First the Ligeti clusters, which have two articulations, molto vibrato and no vibrato. They are based on the cluster Giorgio Ligeti used in his compositions, especially Atmosphere. Basically, every instrument of the section plays its own note next to each other. So when you play them, you get a very narrow cluster sound. We have recorded multiple dynamics on this. And I should also mention that you can play the whole range of the instruments here. So as I said, you also have the Molto Vibrato articulation available. So why not turn on the Poly Key Switch mode and select both of them so that we can morph between them. This way you can create very interesting sounding textures. that didn't scare you. So when combining multiple sections with those clusters, because as I said you get these articulations with any of the sections, uh, you can really create a full wall of sound and a very rich texture by blending the dynamics and the vibrato intensity on every single section. I've prepared a short example here to show you what is possible with those patches. The second type that is available to us are the aleatoric clusters, which come with quite a bunch of articulations, as you can see here in this Celli Multi. Those are more randomly played by the musicians. So basically they chose the notes they want to play on each key, but they are consistent over all of the articulations. So when you press the same key on the sustains and then the staccatos and then maybe a crescendo, you always get the same notes from the section. This makes combining all these articulations very easy. And again, we have recorded dynamics for the sustaining clusters and also round robins for the staccato. Um, let me play all of the articulations in one row on one note for you so that you get an impression on what is in those effects.
So also these aleatory clusters are meant to be combined with the other sections and they are also designed to be very playable. So again you get almost the full range of all of the instruments here. So let me play a little example of the aleatory clusters which makes use of all the five string sections. Okay, so before we move on to the second big category of the Berlin Strings Effects uh, articulations, let me show you another two neat little articulations that uh, will be added to your arsenal with this library. So there are the measure trills, uh, which may be familiar to you if you have Berlin woodwinds, because many of the instruments there also have this articulation. Those are basically slow or faster trills played from the minor second up to a major fifth. They are available for the first violins, the second violins and the celli. They can be synced to your host tempo as you see in this menu here and they will also adapt to, to any tempo changes in your host also within the sample. So let me show this to you with a little example. And now we also have access to Bartok Pizzicato, which is also added in this library. I should also mention that all of the sounds you hear in this presentation are completely out of the box, so there's no external reverb and no other processing. I think I have loaded the close mics and the tree here for this. And this basically applies to every patch you hear in this video. So now let's move on to the second big category of articulations in the burn strings effects. And those are the glissandi and runs and rips and that kind of stuff. As you can see here in the violas folder, they make quite a long list. So I will not go through all of them in any, in, uh, in all of the sections, but let me again choose one of them in this time, the first violins and uh, play you some of those glissando articulations. Again, what I should really mention here is that we record multiple pitches of those glissandos on every instrument. So again, you get the full range of all of the sections. For example, here with the first violins. This is really important to make those effects playable and flexible so uh, you are not bound to fully orchestrated one shots or single pitch glissandos or any kind of stuff they are even mapped quite to the pitches they play so when you press a g with a downward glissando they really land on that g so now let me play you all of those glissandos in the row so that you get an impression of what's available here.
As you heard, every glissando is recorded upwards and downwards with a long and a short version. So those are the aleatory glissandos. But we also recorded quite a bunch of short little rips and runs up and down, which are also very, very playable. So um, let me, for example, play something with the second violence here for you. By the way, all of those samples, uh, that's true for the clusters and for the glissandos and also those runs and rips, they are mapped as near as possible to their relating pitch, so um, especially with those runs which are quite tonal, you can even create chords or integrate them perfectly into your other tonal stuff so you don't have to search for the right pitch that may fit your your music and also those runs are really meant to be played across all the sections so you can for example do stuff like this and you can even play chord transitions with them So those are the burn strings effects patches. I am very happy to be able to integrate them into my template now. I hope you like them as well. Goodbye and uh, see and hear you next time.